Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Junk Junkies channel. Today we got something kind of fun for you. We did a little bit of shopping over the weekend and I came across these 1960s horror film DVDs. And all but one of these DVDs that I picked up are still sealed. So we're going to go through them one at a time. Um, this one here is Terror Creatures from the Grave, and it stars Barbara Steele. If you're a horror film fan, she was in Black Sabbath and um, and uh, several other classic horror films, so she's well-known in the horror genre. And if you turn it around, this is still sealed, 1965, black and white. It's an 81-minute runtime. See right here, it includes the special features, which is the theatrical trailer, the original theatrical trailer from this. And um, this is just about a... Uh, a woman who helps to kill her husband, who happens to be an occultist. And he ends up coming back from the grave as a ghost to haunt her. And I believe he even brings with him some like plague victims uh, to exact revenge on her. So it's a, it's a classic sort of a 1960s style horror film. Still sealed, which is really good. Now this next one here is Tormented. This is a Richard Carlson movie from uh, 1960. And um, this one is also still sealed. It says, by the she-ghost of Haunted Island, he is tormented. Uh, this is uh, actually a Burt Gordon film. Burt Gordon was the director of uh, Puppet People and The Amazing Colossal Man and a couple other horror films. Let me turn this one around. Uh, this one has special features, which is also the original theatrical trailer. And this is about a guy who pushes his wife off a lighthouse, I believe, and then parts of her body end up coming back to haunt him. So this is a pretty cool movie. Uh, early, In fact, it is just 1960 that this one was released, so that's pretty cool. Again, still sealed. Tomb of Torture is the next one, and this is the only one here that is not actually sealed. Uh, this one is a snap case version by the Euroshock Collection. And I checked it out, and it's in mint condition, so that's good. And this one is kind of hard to find. It was originally called, like, Meta Psycho or some such thing in, in Italy. And it's about a girl who may be or maybe not be a, a countess, and she has a butler who runs a torture chamber in the basement, and it's a typical Euroshock sort of a film. Let's turn this around for you and we can see that even the box is in really really good condition so and this one's hard to find by the way this one is actually not an easy film to find that's why i took it in uh, used condition because really it's it's rare to run across it at all this next one here is a spanish film 1961 i mean it's in english but it's a spanish made film brainiac el baron de terror Casa Negra presents the most bizarre horror film ever. Well, I don't know if it's the most bizarre horror film ever, but it's a pretty weird one. Turn it around here. Again, this is a black and white, and it has a lot of special features, including the original uncut uh, version and uh, some other good features on here. And basically, this is about a, uh, a guy who was burned at the stake and he comes back to life and sucks the brains out of people with this really long tongue. I have no idea why he has this long tongue or a gigantic head, but that's what he has. It's a really trippy film, really trippy. This this one is very bizarre. And this one is still sealed too, which is good, because, this is, again, this is not that easy to find. Okay, let's go to Voyage from a Prehistoric Planet. Now, this one is... Weird for a couple of reasons. This one is sealed. You'll see it says Basil Rathbone, Faith Thormagrew. And to be honest with you, this was a Roger Corman deal. And it was a TV movie, actually. And what Roger Corman basically did, if you can believe it, he used excerpts from a Russian film that was made by something called the uh, Leningrad Studio of Popular Science uh, Films. And it was basically like a, a little like short sci-fi film and he basically bought the film and added extra scenes with with Rathbone and a few other people and he kind of made it into a whole different movie so this was technically half of this movie a good portion of this movie was made in Russia 
Uh, and then it was just added to and released on TV as a whole different movie. And here you can see this is probably some of the scenes that was actually the Russian stuff. Um, again, you know, if you're a Roger Corman fan, you, you understand the Roger Corman stuff. This is from Alpha Films, and this is sealed too, so this is good. This is on the back. This is year 2020. Yeah, year 2020. Right so <laughs> we're living this right now, folks. Year 2020. And this, the last one, Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. Is it a sequel to Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet? Well, not really, because this one came out in 1968. But here is a connection. The same Russian film that was used in Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet is used in this one, too. So they basically just took the same film and kept reusing some of these scenes that the uh, Russian Leningrad uh, studios did. And they put it in both of these, and both of these were TV movies. This one's Mamie Van Doren, who at the time was, I guess, a sex symbol, and her contribution to the movie is basically her and these prehistoric women run around in, like, clamshell suits and lay on the beach a lot. And I think they worship, like, a pterodactyl or something. It's pretty bizarre. Pretty bizarre. So this is new and sealed as well. And we're going to be putting these up on our eBay store. Uh, individually, obviously, and um, there's a lot of collectors out there. I'm one of them. I have most of these films in some form or another. Oh, wait, we do have one more, don't we? I forgot about this one. This is also brand new and sealed, but here's something interesting about this one. It's a double feature. It's volume four of Scream Theater, Legend of the Witches, and City of the Dead. Now, let me tell you a little bit about City of the Dead. City of the Dead is actually Horror Hotel. A lot of horror film fans will remember Horror Hotel. Great, great film with Christopher Lee about a, a cult of witches that come back every so often living in a New England town. and Really cool film. This is actually the uncut version that has about two or three extra minutes that the American release called Horror Hotel did not have. So that's kind of cool. And then Legend of the Witches, believe it or not, is really just sort of a documentary about witches and their customs. And it featured a guy at the time, I'm trying to think his name was Alexander Sanders, I believe, or something like Saunders, who was considered King of the Witches. And he actually had a real coven and everything. And this was sort of a documentary on his coven and his teachings and his history of witchcraft. So you get both of these films on here, Scream Theater Volume 4, and if you're a big fan of older horror films, it's worth it just for the City of the Dead, because Horror Hotel is certainly one of the better older horror films that you're going to find, come across, and to get that extra two minutes and to also get the release as City of the Dead is actually pretty cool if you're a horror film collector. So that one could be special, we'll see. So these are the ones we're going to be putting up on our store. Hopefully, uh, we'll find them a good home to a collector who needs some of these titles in their collection. And we'll let you know how we did with these. Hit like and subscribe. And, of course, visit our eBay store. We'll put the link down below. And if you're interested in any of these, um, certainly hit us up and let us know. Thanks for watching.